is 1941 and the war is raging all around you. You're Abigail Blackwood and you found that your home, Blackwood Manor, is in dilapidation Long and ruins. My name is Matt from CoreGameMedia.com. Here to bring you our review for Galatia for Nintendo Switch. I'm going to break this down in, into three elements. Much graphics, gameplay, changed. and sound as not to ruin the My game by any spoilers. So let's get straight into this review. Also, thank you for Sushi Games for letting me review this game so and, the, and the review copy as well. Something the gameplay can be absolutely frustrating. It can really get on your nerves, it can become boring, and, it, and you can really get disinterested in it. So you really have to get to the story. You really have to make I yourself need care to uncover the mystery of Blackwood Manor. I found myself at some point thinking, what am I doing? It's long lost I've been going secret. back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, looking for a clue. Even with the clue finder, sometimes you, will, you do a lot of backtracking trying to find out what to do. But that said, a challenge is always good. Dark Souls was a challenge, and I'm a veteran of the series. So it's not a challenge, it's when the challenge is too much of, of a challenge, basically. It's just too much. And in, in this game, it really is for a point, you're dropped in there, and you're told nothing else about the game. You're just told, listen, you have to find out what you're doing, you have to find out this. And really, it makes for a disheartening experience. The story really saves the game. I really became immersed in why Abigail Blackwood was how she was, and I really wanted to find out what happened to her family My name and what had happened Abigail to her. Blackwood. So the story is what keeps Did you died really died interested in wanting, to, in, in wanting to play. I played this game two different ways. I played with the Joy-Cons, and I also played with, uh, with the touch controls. The touch controls is the best way to play this game. You move faster and it's more immersive. Whereas the Joy-Cons is kind of slow and clunky and it really takes a lot of time to get from place to place. One thing you will notice about the uh, Joy-Cons is you press the select button or the minus button and you are able to bring up the clue uh, locator. So if you can't find a clue, press the button and the clues will show up on your screen. Touch screens, at least for me, did not have that option. Not it's, it's the, uh, the gameplay is not bad, but it definitely is frustrating and it's sometimes a tad boring. Now, now let's get to the graphics. Graphics are another part that I have to say are really outstanding. This game 